The best kind of business you can start right now is going to be a service-based business. It doesn't take as much time to start as other businesses do. There's options for you to start a service-based business right now, almost completely for free. Nice. Wouldn't it be really silly to not take advantage of that? You can be a freelance writer, you can clean houses or even organize houses, and you can even teach people or companies in areas that you're very knowledgeable in. Maybe you can deliver groceries locally in your area. It would be like Uber Eats, but for grannies who need their insurer or busy working parents who don't have the time to go to the grocery store every week. Something awesome to consider about service-based businesses is that they often start out as side hustles and then very quickly turn into full-time careers. A really awesome example of this that you can even start immediately after watching this video is a guy I knew that used to clean gyms. He cleaned the gyms with products supplied by the gyms that were purchased by them and he even chose his rate of pay. Because he wasn't an employee of the gym but rather a service provider for the gym he wasn't paid hourly the same way the employees were paid. He got to choose how much he was paid and he told the gym what he wanted. Now, if the gym didn't wanna pay that, they could find somebody cheaper, but the reason he started doing this job is because there was nobody else. He was filling a gap in the market. He started with just one gym, but very quickly took on four other gyms and eventually he grew into a full-scale business that was rivaling all of the other cleaning businesses in the area. This guy started by working part-time by himself and grew the business in less than a year to have six employees and dozens of contracts which allowed him to quit his full-time job and manage his own business full-time. Even better, he didn't have to do any cleaning after the business took off. So why do I say that service-based businesses take a lot less startup than other businesses? And why do I say that they can be started almost virtually for free? You can actually start promoting your service without any preparation. I don't recommend this, but it is possible. For example, if you decided to start a cleaning business as a side hustle, you can start posting ads on Facebook or any other free listing site without even having any supplies yet. Once you start gaining more interest, maybe even have your first customer already, then you can start going out and buying the supplies you need. Another example is actually exactly what I'm doing, which is posting my services on Fiverr. Hey, by the way, check out my Fiverr profile. The link is in the description. Posting my services on Fiverr cost me absolutely no money. All it took was about 20 minutes to create a description and post some photos. Setting this up cost me no money. Fiverr sends me leads and all I'm doing is teaching people things that I really enjoy and know a lot about. Within the first month, I made nearly $1,000 with very little effort. Stick around until the end of the video because I'm gonna share six doable service-based businesses that you can literally start today if you wanted to. Another great thing about service businesses is that once you start providing that service to more and more people, your service improves and you can start to charge a lot more money. You can probably even start hiring employees so you don't have to stress about always working all the time. These businesses are a great source of recurring customers, meaning the customers that you serve once, you'll have to serve again. You don't have to go out looking for new customers every single day because you can build up a base of customers that allows you to make enough money month over month to sustain your business. Maybe you start growing too fast. A great thing is that you can actually outsource a lot of services to other providers at a lower price. This means that you can get paid to connect people, which isn't a lot of work or time out of your day. So let's say, for example, you're a handyman. Over the years, you've built a reputation and you have a lot of customers and you got a lot of things to do. You got jobs coming up. But as a very busy business person, you would like a break and so you decide you would rather go on vacation because who wouldn't rather go on vacation, right? So to make sure your customers are still satisfied and so you you can also go on vacation, you decide to find another local handyman and get him to do those jobs but pay him a few hundred bucks less than what you were being paid. Your services are still being provided but you outsourced the labor and made a profit. Making money on the beach? Brilliant. Even though there's a bunch of incredible businesses that you can start, I really do think that services have a massive advantage. If you're new to businesses and side hustles, would you rather spend a month setting up a drop shipping store or maybe like an hour setting up a Fiverr profile? If you're sitting there thinking to yourself, damn, Eric's making some valid points. Here's a list of six service-based business ideas that you can literally start 
after watching this video. The first idea is lawn care, and this is a serious cash cow. Cutting people's grass makes a lot of money and it's very, very scalable. If you live in a country with winter or seasons where people are not cutting their grass, you can quickly turn a lawn care service into a snow removal service. Obviously, running ads for businesses and social media marketing is a great service, but it's also a great opportunity to outsource and get paid as the middleman and not have to do a whole lot of work. How you'll do this is by getting contracts to run ads for companies or manage social media accounts and then finding a freelancer that'll do it for a less expensive cost and having them take care of the work while you cash the checks. You're making a healthy profit by not doing too much. I already spoke about cleaning businesses, which are great ideas. But what some people don't know is that organizing businesses are also great ideas. Some rich mofos out there will pay you thousands of dollars to organize their overcrowded pantries and closets. Here's a pro tip if you really wanna start a cleaning business. Airbnb owners are always looking for cleaners to clean their rentals after people leave. One that I'm constantly seeing on social media is window cleaning and power wash. People are making a lot of money doing this and some of them are super young. Consulting work is awesome. If you're good at something and you can help somebody else get good at that as well, you can make a lot of money. Here's a very realistic example that I thought of while I was writing this script for this video. If you work in a warehouse and you think your life is going nowhere because you're a shipper and receiver and you have no skills to go out and get a better job, what if you went to other companies and offered to train their shipper receivers and charge them a wild fee. In reality, you may have to talk to 20 companies or corporate headquarters before you land a good opportunity. But a corporate opportunity like that could pay you something ridiculous like $20,000. You do a couple of trainings like that every year and you've now made a very handsome salary which will allow you to quit your job. The best part is you've only worked a few weeks of the year and you've probably made more money doing that than you would have if you continued to work for somebody else. The next one is home entertainment installation. You know how many silly mofos out there don't know how to hang their TV on the wall? You know how many people have a surround sound system that's not even set up properly? Like one or two speakers just aren't working or not synced up? If you feel like you can do this, a free way to advertise your services is to just go to Best Buy and then go to the TV or entertainment section and just start telling people that you're willing to hang their TVs and set up their surround sound and do other services like that. Damn, sounds like cheap marketing to me, man. I bet you weren't expecting a bonus, but this is the seventh service-based business that you can literally start today. But this one's a little bit more difficult, and I actually heard Layla Hormozy talking about this one. Converting homes to smart homes. This service fetches top dollar, like people pay a lot for this. The people who want this are typically the kind of people living in big houses that can afford to pay you something crazy like 30 grand to spend two days to like a week max syncing up their blinds, their TV, their thermostat, all up to their cell phone. If you're still not convinced, you should definitely subscribe because the next video that I'm releasing is actually gonna go over the other options for businesses that you can start and the pros and cons associated with them.